One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <coughs> Turn down my game sound real quick. Audio, music volume, sound volume. It's already down. Jesus. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fireman Dan, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a helicopter. Maybe not this monstrosity behind me, but, uh, you know, yeah. A hel working helicopter nonetheless. So we're going to be doing this using scripts, and there are some components required. First off, most of them are all pretty basic. You're going to need your flight seat that you're using, right? Nah, well, yeah, whatever it is. So you need your flight seat. You're going to need power source, in this case, say, a battery. You're going to need some gyroscopes. And you're going to need a program block, obviously. And last but not least, some kind of downwards thrust. Well, technically upwards, pointing up. And now we're going to come in here, we're going to access this program block. Let's turn these off. Terminal access this program block, and the script we're going to be using is called Heli Assist. Okay, boom. Now you see here is this error cannot find block, find block group with the name Heli Assist. So, what you need is your gyroscopes, your cockpit, and your thrusters, and call them. Ellie assists and it's safe. Boom, there you have, have it. And now we have a working helicopter. And as you see here, you've got current mode, which is flight, precision, aim disabled, and lateral dampening disabled. The current mode, you got several of them. You got flight, you got landing mode, and really you got shutdown. There's also manual, but I really don't use manual that much, but we'll get into it. Precision aim mode, it just dampens your gyroscope, so if you're trying to, well, precisely aim at something with a weapon system, it, you're not, like, all over the place. We're, like, distance target. It helps you aim better. And lateral dampening. What happens with lateral dampening is, just like any other ship, if you're flying forward and you turn to the left, you're going to keep going forward, no matter what. Unless you yourself, as the pilot, corrects it. Lateral dampening does it for you. So how does all this work? Well, if you were to pull up the, the Steam page for Heli Assist, and I'll stick this link in the description below. If you come down here, you got these right here. You got flight, landing, manual, and shutdown. But those are the different modes that I told you. In standby mode, it the script still runs, but it, it allows you or another script to use the gyroscope for the thrusters. I never use standby mode, but no, it's there. I always use flight, landing, manual, and shutdown. And shutdown, it, it automatically shuts down your thrusters, it automatically shuts down your gyroscopes. There's, you got your precision aim mode, which is toggle precision, and you got your lateral dampening, which is toggle lateral dampening. So let's see how this works. So let's come up here to this program. Where's it at? Program block. Run. And we're going to type in flight. Right. And then after flight, we're going to do this lateral dampening. And this is just my preference. You can set these up in whatever order you want. Toggle lateral dampening. And then we want landing and shutdown. And then maybe manual mode. Now I am not doing the precision aim mode because I don't have no weapons on this. And there's also, like I said, uh, the standby mode. So here's what happens. If I unlock my landing gears. Now I can just... Hold W and fly around like a normal helicopter, right? Now, if you look, I'm, not only I'm still flying in that direction, right? 
So that's where the I uh, just press number two and that toggle a lot of dampening. So if I come this way now you can see the helicopter kind of tilted to the left to try to counterbalance the movement to the right. Now my my only grief with this script is if I let go of the W your thrusters want your dampening wants to take over and automatically stop you instead of cruising along. That's where manual mode can come into play. But the problem is with manual mode, you got to do everything yourself. So if I turn off my initial dampeners, right, it doesn't automatically try to stop me. But I also do not go crashing down to the ground like you would with a normal ship by turning off automatic by turning off your dampener. The problem is, if I want to turn to the left, now I'm flying sideways. Right, so I would have to manually hold uh, A down to counterbalance my uh, right rightward movement. But if I turn my dampeners back on, it does it for me. And once I level out here, okay, see, I just leveled out. Now I just turn off, turn my dampeners back off. Now I can fly in a straight line. All right, let's go land here and show you a couple of things, a couple of tips and tricks. Uh, well, we don't need to go back here. Let's land right here anyways. Well, once it ever slows down. Now this rotor blade that you see at top, that is in fact a mod. I'm sure you all know that. You can do this all vanilla. You do not need actual, ro like the rotator blade. You can use regular vanilla thrusters if you want. All right, so I can just put a, th you can just put upward thrusters on here, and it'll do the same, same exact thing as this uh, mod here. Also, if you want, if you want to help you move faster or slow down, you can take your regular atmospheric thrusters. All right. Throw, throw forward thrusters on there and you can include these thrusters in your heli assist group and it will use them to help you go see a lot faster and if you do the same thing for reverse left or right it'll act the same way so you could still have thrusters to help you counteract your sideward movements to help you go forward quicker and help you reverse stop and reverse quicker but it's not required. Remember, the more thrusters you have, the more power you need. Right? So if I take this off, sitting here in a hover, I got eight hours worth of power, and I'm only using 3% of my power. If I move forward, seven hours worth of power, and I'm only using 3% of my power. Right? So two batteries can power a very, very... I don't, even, I don't even call it a simple ship. You've you got one thruster on this thing. I mean, technically, that's what the, what the helicopter part is. It's just a thruster. It's just a modded thruster. Right? So this is how you can make very useful uh, tools and, and helicopters and whatnot. It's going to take me a second to slow down here. Now the last part I need to sh show you about the script is if you come into the custom date, it should be in there. You come into the custom data, why is it? Hmm. Well, it should be in here. Here, let me show you this. Edit. Let's go down to here. So you see m maxed uh, pitch. 30, 20, 16 landing. You can uh, toggle how sharp you turn left and right and whatnot. Just land here. No, 
Eh, it's probably downstairs. So, let me come in here. Heli assist programmable block. Custom data. This is this should be just being displayed in the other one, but it's not. So what you got is this is the tag for your uh, group, the heli assist. And then you got max pitch, max roll. These are the max that you can pitch forward or roll to the left and right in flight. Max landing pitch, max landing roll. Whenever you toggle the landing mode, as you see, it's not as severe. It's only this is only level 10, and I can change this if I want to. Precision 16. This is well the same thing as yellow four. This is this how pre how sensitive your your script is and your gyroscope when you're trying. I mean, when you're in precision mode, when you're trying to aim. And lastly, start mode equals shutdown. So whenever you first paste a block in or something along that nature, this is what will what the script will carry in. And as you see, I got it in shutdown mode. And because I have it in shutdown mode, when I pasted this in, my rotators aren't aren't on. Now, last but not least, if you look in here, you have no idea what mode you're in. All right. And the other way you can know what mode you're in is you're coming in here, and it says right here. But that's kind of a pain in the butt. Because I'm like, okay, what mode am I in? You got to pull up your toolbar. You got to come into programmable block. So let's rename this. So what can you do about this? Well, the automatic LCD script, if you're familiar with it, has a neat little feature on it. Automatic LCD is two. Check code. An automatic LCDs can show you this on any screen you want or cockpit. Right, so there's that. Now, if I can just remember what the command line was for it. Right here, details. So you want details and then the name of the block. All right, so in this case, we'll come in here, custom data, and it'll be at zero auto OCD. Oops. Details. LE PB. Boom. Now, whatever I have displayed here is shown on that screen. So if I toggle number two for lateral dampening, it says enabled, and as soon as it ticks over, now it's disabled. Now, if I put it in press number three for landing mode, back to flight mode, and lateral dampening back on. Now, once again, this was for a completely different script, automatic LCDs, which I've covered, I believe I've covered in a different tutorial. If not, I'll make one. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you make a helicopter. So just a quick recap, you need your cockpit, you need your power source, you need your gyroscopes, you need your downward facing thruster of any kind. This is a mod. You can use a regular thruster if you don't want to use mods. And you need your programmable block group your gyroscopes your cockpit and your thrusters and do another group called heli assist and that's all you have to do it you could add your stuff in your toolbar down below and once again if you do not know where to find that if you open this if you open the script up sorry You open a script up in the workshop. <clears throat> you can find them right there. Standby, shutdown, manual, landing, flight, toggle precision, and toggle lateral dampening. Or if you actually physically edit the script, 
this should be in there as well. Flight, landing, manual, shutdown. And uh, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, uh, they're in there somewhere. But that's all you have to it, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, uh, hit the like button. Hit the sh uh, share it with your friends. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. This is Fireman Dan, and I will see you next time on Space Engineers.